After Unity, the Assassin's Creed series has needed a kick up the arse, and while Syndicate is an enjoyable game, it still has a lot of problems holding it back from achieving true greatness. To address the main elephant in the room, Syndicate performs a lot better than Unity, but it's not perfect. Frames do drop, and in some baffling places. On the streets of London in crowds, it was fine for me, but in small factories where nothing much is going on, the game dipped a lot. But I did expect this because the game looks so nice. The sense of place Syndicate has is unmatched. Westminster in particular looks amazing. It's always been Assassin's Creed's strong point, but Syndicate knocks it out of the park. Leaves blow past you on the pavement, children try to sell newspapers to passers by, and then you can viciously murder someone in front of that same child, making him squeal and run away, scarred for life. Yeah, we're doing 10 out of 10. And the audio complements the sense of place really well. Story-wise this year, I thought it was a lot simpler. I get lost in a lot of Assassin's Creed's plots because most of the games have a lot of political intrigue and introduces way too many characters, not to mention the now very sparse modern day plot. But basically this time there's this Tosser Templar who's taken over London from behind the scenes and you have to take it back as well as hunting down a piece of Eden. The simpler story keeps it open to people who haven't played the series before. The plot's two main leads, Jacob and Evie, are both likeable and have different skill sets. Evie favours stealth whilst Jacob favours cracking skull. You can switch between the two whilst exploring, but some missions you have to play as one or the other. Though the two skill sets don't really become apparent until later in the game once you've leveled both up a bit. Only the very late game skills are different for Jacob and Eva. But saying that, you can go stealthy as Jacob and fight as Evie, no problem. But that's because combat is very easy, so most of the time I found myself playing as Eva because her bonuses to stealth made her a more versatile character. Speaking of versatility, a lot of the game's missions offer a large amount of ways to approach them, especially the main assassination plots. Lots of opportunities rise up, like bribing employees and playing dead, though I didn't like how the game points out different entry points to you. You should scout and discover them on your own. There's always something to push for in the game. You can try and take London back bit by bit, craft new gear for yourself, or focus on upgrading your gang, which is a part of the game I really liked. Being in one made me feel like I was in the Clockwork Orange, and it made Made the fights feel more brutal and gritty. The variety is just a lot stronger all round. There's less of those awful tailing missions and more organic activities to do, but there's still problems that have plagued the series since the early days, mainly the parkour. It's just still too finicky and clunky. If you ever want to be precise, good luck. You'll find yourself running up walls you didn't want to, jump into the wrong ledge, or just landing right in front of the enemy you were trying to stealth kill. Thankfully, the inclusion of the grappling hook alleviates this a bit and it makes traversal a lot easier. And the full synchronization bonuses can fuck right off. In a game like this where you're free to approach objectives how you want and come up with your own creative solutions, you shouldn't limit the player by expecting them to meet certain conditions. There's also a few bugs and combat annoyances. Some enemies can seemingly block bullets with the hands. Animations and multi-kills cock up a bit as well. Carriage chases can quickly turn into a clusterfuck when lots are involved and the frame rate really does drop in these moments. There's also an eagle vision upgrade that lets you see and mark enemies through walls, which I thought was a bit silly. Overall though, Syndicate is an improvement on Unity, but Assassin's Creed really does need a year off to work on the problems that, quite frankly, should have been removed years ago. If you were burned by Unity like me, then Syndicate might restore your faith a bit.